Welcome everybody to the Nest Fitness. Today we're doing a collaboration video with the 44. Today's topic is myostatin. Does it really inhibit the growth of muscle? Me personally, my theory is that myostatin cannot uh, make you stall gains to a complete stop. I do think that if you're on cycle long enough, uh, you might hinder some growth. You might stall out, start to plateau a little bit. But me, <clears throat> but me personally, I don't feel that it can stop your gains. Uh, there's different theories floating around. Uh, of course, if you switch up your compounds, up your doses, I think you can overcome what myostatin can inhibit. But let's ask the 44. 44, what do you think about myostatin? Can it inhibit it? Can it stop it? Can you fix it? Can you change it? And hey, what's going on, CMB? Um, good question. Relation to myostatin and its effects on hypertrophy, or whether it can hinder uh, hypertrophy over a period of time. Now, um, basically, this is my thought on this. Um, at a cellular level, obviously, myostatin does have a role in preventing too much muscle gain because the whole point of it is is that there are. There was one documented case of a child born uh, a while back uh, in England, and uh, the thing of it was he did not, he was born free of myostatin. Uh, I forget the exact medical term for it, but um, he was very muscular. I mean, I'm talking about the kid was born muscular, and as this person grew older, uh, they were very lean, uh, body fat was very low, and uh, they were just hyper muscular. Um, however, the drawback to uh, this is, in a lot of cases, these people have severe muscle cramps and spasms that uh, keep them in a less than ideal state as far as strength gains and stuff like that and their ability to do certain tasks uh, or at least have stamina in those tasks because uh, certain amounts of repetitions of certain exercises would in fact uh, cause them to cramp up and stuff like that and of course uh, another issue is the hypermuscularity uh, also is a stress factor upon the joints and tendons so those are a couple of things now do I believe in myostatin inhibition I believe yes it can happen uh, however, I feel that the majority of people out there don't have access to true pharmaceutical grade type of materials that would actually assist with this. So therefore, you know, people who are out there buying this and that and whatever the hell products, uh, you know, myostatin inhibitors, I, I just don't buy it. Uh, anything commercial? No. Uh, unless that stuff is pharma grade and it's documented, then no. Now, um, obviously... Um, there are persons who, you know, believe in this and follow this. And me personally, do I think anything can stop your gains? Do I believe that, you know, you have to eliminate myostatin in order to keep growing? No, I think that your receptors get bogged down. I think that your central nervous system gets bogged down. And I think that variety and changing your routine is going to be what triggers growth. I mean, even myself recently, I changed how I worked out and stuff like that. Why? Because I'm trying to chisel in some details and stuff like that. But it's all conscientious effort. Uh, you have to, you know, think things out, well planned, well, well planned out, um, and you have to put it all in action. So, myostatin, eh? I mean, I, I wouldn't waste my money on a myostatin inhibitor. That's just my take on it, brother. But anyhow, hey, I hope you got something out of the video. And uh, thanks for asking the question, motherfucker.